we come to the resample operation, and the resample operation systematically changes cell size and recalculates cell values as necessary. So in this case, we're going to be systematically changing the cell size across the entire raster. Remember, we can't have different size cells in the same raster. So we're going to be systematically changing the cell size for every cell in the raster. And so here we have an illustration of a decrease in spatial resolution. So I've got some kind of uh, spatial resolution over here, right? There's some distance over here uh, uh, for each one of these cells. And I'm going to convert it into another raster. This is the conversion raster over here. The output input over here. And then this over here is output. And then I've got this raster over here that is going to output, which has a l larger spatial resolution. This is decreasing spatial resolution. Uh, and now the reason that I say over here, recalculate cell values as necessary, is because let me draw your attention to this cell up here. So this is the same cell. These two cells would it would be geo position, or these two rasters rather would be geo positioned so that they were laying on top of each other. We're looking at them side by side, but if we were to run this raster through a resample operation, of course they would be the the, the output raster would be in the same geographic location as the input raster. That's the same as for the reclassification operation, by the way, as well. But when I do this. I've got to decide what value goes in here to this new cell. So what goes into that cell? Now in this case, it's a little bit obvious because both of those, or all four of those cells that are now going to become one cell, uh, all have two. But you can see that I get more complicated as I go along here. Some of these cells are going to have or I'm going to have to make some kind of decision about because they have multiple values in their four cells. So what I have to do here is select a consistent methodology to make this decision for every cell in the raster. If I'm going to perform a resampling operation like this, I'm going to have to choose what methodology that I'm going to use to change or to enter a new cell value into the output cell. And so there are a few different methods that I could use to resample this cell and there are or to recode the cell during this resampling operation. And let me give you a few of them right here. We don't have time to go over all of them, but for instance, I might use majority. I might say whatever the majority number is in those four cells in this case, I want to use that value to put over there in the uh, new cell. I could choose to use the mean. I could say, hey computer, take the, the mean value of all of those cells and then put that mean value in the new cell. I might choose to use a mode operation. You know, choose the mode value of all of those uh, cells that are going to be resampled and put that value in the new cell. Uh, some of these are going to make sense and some of them will not make sense depending on the data that you are using. For instance, if this is my land cover raster, I've got one, two, threes, and fours over here. If one is urban areas, two is forest, three is grassland, four maybe is, is water, it won't make any sense for me to take a mean because this is just qualitative data. I'm just using those numbers as a label for what's in the cell. It doesn't make any sense to take the mean of urban and water and two forests. I don't get any meaningful result out of that. So in that case, using a mean operation wouldn't make any sense. You know, I could also, I don't hadn't, didn't have this one written down on this uh, slide here, but you know, I could use a priority scheme like we talked about when we were talking about originally coding rasters. You could say, well, I want to do this resample operation, but I uh, am very interested in making sure that I maintain all of the water, which is coded here as four, let's say. So if you are ever in a situation where you're resampling and that there's a four in there, then that needs to be carried over. So, and there are actually a lot of other methods for recoding a cell during a resampling operation. And we could get into that in a lot of detail, but uh, this is basically the core idea that when this happens, we have to be consistent in a methodology for recoding this cell. So let me ask you this question. 
Can you increase spatial resolution through a resample operation? Often when I'm talking about the resampling operation, some students will get very excited because they'll go, no, wait a minute, maybe I could use the resample operation to increase my spatial resolution. And from a technical standpoint, some software packages will allow this. You'll actually be able to pull out the tool and say, I'd like to resample this to a higher spatial resolution. I want to increase the spatial resolution and it will do it for you. But here we want to consider whether or not that's actually a good thing to do or not and if that is actually helpful to us. So let's zoom in to a single cell in this resampling operation. Let's say that uh, you know we've got this grid of perhaps thousands of cells that make up this raster, but let's zoom in to this particular cell and uh, take a look at it. You know, this cell has got a particular spatial resolution. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's 100 meters, so we know that each cell has uh, 100 meters on each side. And then, hey, I'd like to do a resample operation, and, you know, since just sort of thinking uh, maybe naively here, Higher spatial resolution rasters are better, right? And look, the computer will let me go through here and turn this into a 50 meter raster. Uh, and so, hey, I think I'll do it. So the question though is, if I were to do this, if I were to run this resample operation, what values would I stick in each one of these cells that I'm producing here in the output raster? Again, this is input and this is output and these two uh, would be geographically positioned in the exact same place. So what value do I put in here? Well, you know, I, I have some people who will say 50. Well, if I'm dividing up this block, do I put a value of 50 into each one? And that is not the case. That won't work. Think about uh, what this data might represent. If this data represents, uh, for instance, oh, I don't know, if this is elevation, and what this cell is telling me is that it's 200, I don't know, meters above sea level in this cell, and then I run a resample operation, well, suddenly it doesn't become 50 meters above sea level. So that doesn't work. And even think about if this were a more qualitative data scheme. Maybe I'm using the value of 200 here to represent urban areas, let's say. So if I'm using the value 200 to represent urban areas, then I run this resample operation. Uh, 50 might not even be in my classification schema. It wouldn't change that classification. So that's not something that I want to do. The solution here is to put the same number into all of the cells. So I've got 200 over here and I've got 200 in each one of these cells. So the sort of broader question here then is how does this help? There are reasons to run resampling operations, especially when you're decreasing the spatial resolution. We'll talk about that in another, another video about why you would want to do that. But how does this help me at all decreasing or in trying to increase the spatial resolution like this with a resampling operation if I'm just co copying over all of the values? And the key here is to know that no new data is created in an operation of this kind. Uh, you know, if I collected the data at this particular spatial resolution, whatever it is, maybe it is that 100, I can't say anything about this area that's at a higher spatial resolution than 100 meters. I can, like I said, the computer might let me run this operation and change the raster in this way if I would like, but the, what I'm going to have to do is just directly take the value of the raster of the particular cell and put it into all of the cells that it's broken up into. So I, I haven't gained any information. If this is, uh, this is elevation, I mean, maybe this side of the cell is a little bit lower, this side's a little bit higher, but it's about 200 meters in the center. Maybe there is some kind of change of topography here within this cell, but since I didn't collect that information when, I w when this data was originally collected, I just don't have it. I can't recover that information by just having the computer manipulate the raster by using a resample operation. And moreover, in this case, think about 
uh, how much more storage space that I'm having to take up or use on my computer, use on my hard drive uh, in order to store the exact same information. I mean, I'm storing four values right here, four different values, whereas previously I was only storing one. Raster data sets can be very large in file size anyway. And so if I do something like this and I, I increase the file size potentially dramatically, in this case, four different values are having to be stored where previously I was just storing one, I can drive up the file size of this raster. And that has its, its own problems, but specifically in this case, I'm doing it and I'm not getting any benefit. I'm not getting any kind of analytical benefit. So yes, sometimes software packages will let you do a resample operation in this way, but you have to remember that if the data wasn't, it was only created at a certain spatial resolution, that's the spatial resolution that you've got. You can't just, just manipulate the raster through a resample operation and get new data. Doesn't work like that.